If you're doing some front-end stuff, uh, what's really good is to install Emmet, which is a plugin that really simplifies your HTML and CSS and completely reduces the amount of text that you need to be typing. What you can do is you go to emmet.io and you can install their materials. What you can also do is you can do control plus shift plus P or shift control plus P. And then what happens when you do that is you can type in Emmet. And as you can see, I've already got it installed. I can see some of the information here, but you can actually scroll down, click install, and after your install, just go ahead and restart your ID, which will get Emmet to start working. Um, so what you want to make sure before you start anything with Emmet is just check your preferences. Did you get it right? Is it in the right place? Yes, it is. I have my key bindings and settings. I'm, I've got everything on default right now. Also, check to make sure you're on HTML. If you saved your file, it's on JavaScript, or God forbid you forgot your extension, it's on plain text, Emmet's not going to function. So just make sure it's on HTML. So the first thing that we want to get out of Emmet is the easiest, which is bang. And then you just, at the end of that, hit tab and it will actually populate everything. I'm sure you've seen this somewhere before on someone's computer. Um, so let's just call that MO Demet, Emmet Demo, and let's go into the body. There are two general concepts with Emmet. The first one is siblings, which are on the same line. What you want to do is use the notation plus, and what happens when you do that with Emmet is, for example, let's say I want a div. Inside that div, I want a paragraph and a label. So siblings, because they're all on the same line, will look like this when I hit tab, like so. And God forbid why you would ever want to do that. That's really bad form. We also have children, which are indented. And those are notated by the greater than symbol. So we need that div again but we want that paragraph inside indented with the div. And then we also want label. And what we do after we hit tab is everything is well kind of constructed in a way that is better to read for form. And the label is actually wrapped inside because that's better convention and that's the normal way to do it. Um, and Emmet recognizes that. The other cool thing is classes and divs. So normally, as you saw before, we set a div by going div and then at the very end hit tab. What you can also do to cut a lot of time down is hit period and then your div name. So let's just call it main content. At the very end, hit tab, and now you've got a class uh, main content with your div. And the w way that this works is it just knows your information because of the period notation. And it's not just for divs. If I needed a paragraph and I wanted to call that paragraph uh, main content, it's going to do the same thing. So you can really go and chain things around with that. And one of the ways that I like to use it for is actually Bootstrap, because Bootstrap is a pain no matter how we look at it. Um, so what is Bootstrap? Of course, it's the container, which is the biggest one. And then we got a row. And then let's say I want, what, like three columns, and they're going to be size four, medium. And the great thing with Emmet is that you can multiply things. So let's do an asterisk with three. And when you hit tab, you've got everything you need. Perfect. Um, so the way that also simplifies is when you want to make lists, for example, oh god, I need three lists, then I need them all to have names, actually. So what we can do is ally, and remember period notates class. So I want five buckets, and you can actually go dollar sign, multiply by five, and this will go in order and create a very nice list for you, like this. So now I can type all you need in there. The other great thing about Emmet is if you're not really sure what your content is and you don't want to keep copy pasting your lorem ipsum, just do main content, paragraph, and then a lorem. And what it will do is populate all the lorem ipsum for you. So that's so much easier. Uh, another thing that I really like about Emmet, because I forget my tags, is you can link your CSS without having to remember the way the syntax works. So there we go. And then you can type in your name here and also something that I really am not happy with with um, typing out HTML is images because I feel like typing source is just a really awkward hand motion so just go IMG hit tab and you got everything there including your alt which you should be doing and I don't often um, anyways the other thing I also find a hassle is just doing tables because there's so many indentations so just go table plus oh you're done yeah, so that was a quick overview of Emmet. There's a lot of fun stuff that you can do. What you want to go, you want to go to the cheat sheet and just kind of try things out. Emmet.io docs. Um, so I'll put that in the link and go try out Emmet. It's gonna be 
a great time saver because God knows we all need a little more time um, or a lot more time. But anyways, have fun.